Welcome to our third and final podcast of this Unit 5. We are still talking about naming, still talking about compounds. Page 13, so look at what we've talked about so far. We have covalent compounds. We have covalents. How do you know if it's a covalent? It has two non-metals. Okay, then we've spent a day naming ionics. How do we know it's an ionic? It has a metal with a non-metal. Okay, now we're going to be naming a third type, and this third type again has its own rules. We're going to be naming acids. Acids start with a hydrogen. Okay, so here we're going to talk a lot more about acids in spring, but with an acid, it's something that produces this hydrogen ions, or this is the hydronium. You really don't have to worry about this right now. This is what you need to focus on. They actually ionize. They're going to produce the hydrogen, so that means it needs to start with a hydrogen. So looking at that first element is so important to help you know how to name it. Just like our other things we've looked at, unfortunately we have rules. And this is the one you just need to learn some of the rules. So first acids we're going to see. Okay, these are binary. These means acids that have a hydrogen. So they're going to have a hydrogen and one other element. So if you see something that's just hydrogen and one other element, their name is going to be the hydro, and then the element turns to the ic acid. So all of these elements that are going to be partnered with are going to be nonmetals. So you're going to get chloride. It's going to turn into chloric acid. Okay, but we have to add a hydro. No O gets an I hydro, meaning no oxygen in the compound. So this is with the chloride. If you have an acid with a chloride, which is HCl, so here's my acid, this is hydrochloric acid. Sulfide would form hydrosulfuric acid. Okay, look at the formula. It's H plus. So whatever the charge is on the anion, that's how many hydrogens you're going to need to counter, to balance it out. So H plus sulfide's a minus two, so that's why your formula is H2S. That's hydrosulfuric acid. Okay, if it is not a binary, in other words, it's hydrogen, another element, and there's going to be oxygen. Those are called oxyacids because they also contain the oxygen, you're going to have to use the back of your periodic table and look at the names. So if the partner, think of it like the partner with hydrogen, if the name of it ends in an ite, they turn into an us acid. Okay, one of my seniors told me the way he remembered it is because what does he have? He has senior ite us at the end of the year. So hopefully nobody has senior ite us, but if you can remember that it's it us, that's going to help you with the naming. So that means here, this is a sulfite. Look at the back of your periodic table. SO3 is a sulfite. has a negative 2 charge, so that means it's going to take two hydrogens to counter that out, to balance it out. So the name turns into sulfurous acid. This is nitrite ion. Nitrite turns into a nitrous acid. Okay, that's the first thing that can happen with the oxy acid. Well, look at in the back of the periodic table, some of the polyatomic ions end in 8. So if you have an 8, then it's going to turn into an ic acid. Okay, if it's an 8, if it's a polyatomic, no hydros. No hydros. So that's where I was saying, if there's an O, if there's an oxygen, no hydro. So sulfate would turn into sulfuric acid. Nitrate, when it's an acid, would turn into a nitric acid. So let's look on the chart here. Okay, so here's your ion, HI, and remember, whatever the ch negative charge is, that's how many hydrogens you need. 
So you'd only need one hydrogen. Hydrogen always goes first. Hi! So there's your acid formula. Okay, it's not really high, is it? Let's look at the naming. No O gets a hydro. Iodine turns into iodic acid. Okay, H3PO4. This is going, you have to look, okay, what is this partner? The name of this, look on the back of your periodic table. This is phosphate. Phosphate turns into an ic acid. Okay, find this on your periodic table. This am is acetate. Look at the charge, which has a charge of negative one, so that means you only need one hydrogen. It's an acetate, eights turn into X, so this turns into acetic acid. I bet you all have acetic acid in your pantry. That is vinegar. Okay, so look at what we have here. HNO3, HNO3, what is that from? That is the nitrate ion. So if it's a nitrate ion, that means it turns into the nitric, nitric acid. Okay, I'll do one more, then I'm going to have some that I want you to try. Sulfate, okay, look at sulfate, would turn into so sulfate would turn into H2SO4, sulfuric acid or battery acid. Um, we've already done this, it's a little redundant. Let's turn this into chloric acid. Um, hydrobromic acid, you know what, I'm going to change this right here. Let's change this one into HF, trying to get some little bit of variety here. Um, wait, you know what, I don't want that, sorry. Just look, there it was right there. Let's turn this into, this is what happens when I don't have my periodic table with me. Let's turn it into, what would H2SO3 be? Um, let's change this one. So anybody who didn't watch the podcast, they're going to be confused, and they're going to do the wrong ones. So HCN, what is another acid that we could do? Um, let's turn it into H2Cr2O7. Look on the back of the periodic table. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll do this last one for you to kind of go through it again. What is this? Carbon 8 has a negative 2 charge. Carbon 8 turns into carbonic acid. So I'm leaving you a couple in the middle. Use the back of the periodic table and see how you can do at the naming. And then tomorrow, or next day we see you, we're going to put them all together. We will see you.